Donald Trump, you're asking Americans to trust you with their future. Let me ask you, have you even read the United States Constitution? I will, I will gladly lend you my copy. I mean, he was, uh, you know, very emotional and probably looked like uh, a nice guy to me. His wife, uh, if you look at his wife, she was standing there. She had nothing to say. She probably, maybe she wasn't allowed to have anything to say. You tell me, but plenty of people have written that. Uh, she, uh, she was extremely quiet. Ghazala Khan, the soldier's mother, shot back at Trump in an op-ed piece in the Washington Post today. She says her silence on stage was not a choice. She says, walking onto the convention stage with a huge picture of my son behind me, I could hardly control myself. What mother could? Donald Trump said that maybe I wasn't allowed to say anything. That is not true. My husband asked me if I wanted to speak, but I told him I could not. The cons also wanted to know what Donald Trump had ever sacrificed compared to what their family had. And here's what Trump had to say about that to ABC News. I think I made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, I work very, very hard. I've created thousands and thousands of jobs, tens of thousands of jobs. Uh, I think those I've are done sacrifices. A lot. Oh, sure. I think they're sacrifices. I think when I can employ thousands and thousands of people, take care of their education, take care of so many things, even in military. I mean, I was very responsible, along with a group of people, for getting the Vietnam Memorial built in downtown Manhattan, which to this day people thank me for. Kazir Khan, the soldier's dad, was also speaking out again today. And he had more to say about Trump's qualifications to be president of the United States. Two things are absolutely necessary in any leader or any person that aspires, wishes to be a leader. That is moral compass. And second is empathy. This candidate is void of both traits that are necessary for the stewardship of this country.